disclaimer, I made this video before I was hacked, so obviously I was talking about everything that didn't deal with that. Yeah, here's the video. <laughs> B-I-C-T-H Hey everybody, how's life? The family, we're doing great. Say hi Bootsy. What a drama queen. Today, or shall I say tonight, sorry. I just got this air conditioner thing. It has a remote. So that was probably pretty loud, I'm sorry about that. Just in the mood to do my makeup and film a video and make some TikToks. Apologize for this lighting, it is not the best. As much as this ring light, I don't know. I just feel like at night the ring light just looks so harsh and just looks so weird. Pride, I got a lamp over here and my regular lights on. I don't know. So my makeup, I'm gonna do some more dramatic makeup today so i got these jewels off of amazon that i'm going to be using on my eyes wow they're really pretty look at that um if i remember i'll put the link down below but i probably won't projector thing tonight for tiktok i just want to make some tiktoks and look pretty so that's where I'm at. My, my sleeping schedule has been shit for the past two days and last night I like stayed up all night and then I went to bed at like 8 a.m. and woke up at like four in the afternoon and then it's just messed up. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do it again. <laughs> We're gonna do a story time. I was gonna do a story time, but I look back on my life and I have no stories. I don't have any funny boy stories. I like literally have no stories. How fun is that? I don't want to like talk about people that I know on my YouTube channel. That's just, I don't know. I can't think of any like stories that like pop out in my head right now. I just look back at my life and I don't s remember anything super significant. get started um this look is also inspired by Corey reynolds again because her makeup is just so fire basically i'm going to cover my whole eye with black and then outline it with jewels should i do that that's pretty badass bootsy what are you doing oh i can use look at all these jewels I can either use like red jewels, white jewels. Look at all these colors. Wow. Um, before we get started with today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and go follow me on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, on my TikTok. And I think that's about it. So many kinds, where can we start? So I think I'm gonna do my eyes first because I feel like that might be the best option. My skin is breaking out a little bit. She's a little flustered. Stupid. I'm back, bitches. Oh my god, what am I doing? I look like a lunatic, but this headband just makes me feel fun and fresh. I'm feeling rather risky on this. this may 6th on this wednesday night we're gonna clickbait this video what should i clickbait it with this it's nothing i'm just what is this what is what what is this we'll figure it out when i'm editing the ring light just makes me blind this i don't have a dimmer so it literally i see a ring in my eyes for like four hours after i use this 
So I started watching Hollywood on Netflix. I'm on like episode six or seven and I started yesterday. So I'm quite enjoying it. Honestly, because Blaine is in there, that's an extra plus. Um, obviously his name's not Blaine. What's his real name? I just know him from Glee and on there he's straight. So that's so weird to me. I was like, is he making out with a girl right now? <laughs> I was like, I don't know how long I can take this light. So I'm just gonna use tape and put it like, uh, da, 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 da. I have black paint. I think I'm gonna use that. I don't know, just feeling extra risky tonight. Feeling extra e-girl. Maybe I'll put this transforming into an e-girl. Even though I don't even know what the fuck that is. So, I don't know what to do. I don't know what my first move should be. Brown. I think I'm gonna just conceal my eyelids and then outline like a cat eye shape. Oh my God. I think I might do a TikTok. Your girlfriend look like my mom. I'll whoop your ass. Your girlfriend look like my mom. <laughs> I'll whoop your ass. Your girlfriend look like my mom. <laughs> I'll whoop your ass. Life. What was it? Oh, Hollywood. I want to know is. Is Hollywood based off of like an actual recording company or what? If you guys aren't watching it, I think you should. I don't know how new it is, but it's on Netflix. You guys have school off. Um, the date hasn't changed for me because, you know, seniors have an earlier checkout date, I believe. So my checkout date, I think, is May the 15th. It is getting close and I am excited. I'm really pumped. Um, it's not like I'm doing much anyways, but I'm ready to be done. Forehead, ah! Bro, it was so funny. So you guys know Yubo, it's like a teen dating app. How embarrassing. <laughs> it's kind of an hilarious app. I was literally on there and I was going through lives and it's so funny. I like going onto people's lives and just like doing stupid shit and <coughs> whoa, hello, the fucking, oh shit, a girl was on there and she was like, are you Mackenzie Drake? Are you Mackenzie Miller? <laughs> That was so funny. I did not think anyone would know who I was 3 a.m. on Yubo. <laughs> that was funny. You know the monkey app? That is a funny app. Me and my friends go on it all the time. Well, not anymore, obviously, but we wouldn't go on it, I swear, every single time we have a sleepover, we'd be going on monkey because it is just hilarious. It really is. I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> so annoying. Why am I such a, a lame mother freaking? Those claps are totally offbeat. I apologize. I think I'm gonna use an eyeliner. I'm like, freaking no. Where are my eyeliner? So I think I'm gonna fill it in with the NYX eye pencil. It's a bed and eye paint and licorice black. I don't think I'm gonna need to use this because this is pretty opaque, but we'll have to see. I'll have to use this black in my Morphe palette to set it. I don't use a lot of black in my eyeshadows. I'm hoping this comes out good or I'm gonna be mad. I think I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so scared. This has to be so perfect. Everybody say a prayer for me real quick. I don't think I'll be able to talk while I'm doing this. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a panic attack, especially because my eyes are so freaking deformed. Like, I'm, okay. 
I don't think you can see the freaking line because my light is so bright. I'm just outlining. The line doesn't have to be too sharp because the jewels are going to cover it. But it's still giving me so much anxiety to get have this perfect. There's that. And then I'm going to fill in this. Uh, I can't do makeup. I did. I have to do the other eye. Fuck me, Mia. Yeah. yeah, did I mess it up? Now that I look at it, I think I look fucking stupid. Smart, and I purchased makeup remover wipes because of how much of a dimwit I am. And I can't do makeup without getting it everywhere. Okay. I look like a penguin. I'm used to just don't wanna try you. Wrong. It felt so right. Don't mean I'm in love tonight. I be having full blown conversations about my eyeshadow. I'm like, you really have me out here looking dumb, eyeshadow. Do you wanna fight or something? I will fight you. Now I'm just packing on black eyeshadow and hoping for the motherfucking vest. I mean, I was gonna do it glossy, but I think matte looks better. I don't even look cool. I look like Avril Lavigne. Now, this might look good in a picture, but video, honey. It'll only look good when I'm like this. I'm bored. I know nothing but TV shows at this point, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about a TV show. What should we talk about? I finished Married at First Sight. It's a fucking name. He's an asshole. The basketball player, I literally wanted to go through the phone and slap him in the motherfucking head. Why would you, okay, spoiler. Why would you leave your wife? Really? You, you don't feel like you can be accustomed? And you, you're married, what? You can't go to, he acts like he doesn't know what he's doing. Like, you're married. No, you cannot go hang out with your friends every night till 3 a.m. What? And then when they said about how he, what, what, so, uh, he was texting some girl and girls at her work told her about it, I was like, oh, hell no. And then whenever he left on the last episode, he was so nonchalant. These bitches ain't shit. These bitches ain't shit. That's not what he said, but that was basically what he was saying. I put my all into something and da da da. Uh huh. You put nothing. And she left brokenhearted. I feel so bad for her. Next, Next caller! caller! Next caller! Can we talk about, uh, what's his name? Jamie and the girl. See, that's hard for me because. At the racetrack, if you haven't watched Made at First Sight, this is probably so boring, I'm sorry. At the racetrack, I understand why he was mad that because he was interrupting conversation. Now, do you yell across and say shut up to your wife? I don't think you do that. Why was he standing so far away from her in the first place? Like, just stand beside her and be like, okay, okay, okay. Like, that's just who she is. You can't change her, you can't make her you know, I'm surprised they said yes. I was like, okay, this might look kind of cool. Now I shall start the other eye. Um, yeah, that show just oh, made me so mad. And Keith, and Keith deserved better. He really did. Whenever he had condoms and she was literally roasting his ass and like, why would you have a box of condoms? Do you want him to not protect himself? I literally was gonna slap her across the screen. And I was gonna slap Keith too, because what broke apart their marriage was because of how he worded things. He didn't care about the virginity. He cared about her lack of emotional intimacy and, and maturity. And what did he do? All he said was, I don't think I'm okay about the virginity. No, it's not that. 
but honestly you can't teach someone emotional maturity which is hard you can't teach her how to be comfortable about it but she was getting there so honestly i feel like their marriage would have worked i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie now am i surprised he said no no i'm not surprised i'm just like how do you stay with someone who calls you a materialistic bitch could not be me could not be me um now that i'm on tiktok more i just want to explain not explain i just want to i just am wondering about the uh, the the how dumb it is i i've known tiktok is dumb but i go on there and i'm like wow lack of knowledge people have on that app is mind-boggling but i'm not surprised disappointed yes am i surprised no now these jewels is about to be a whole nother ball game i'm trying to think of stories to tell you guys because i'm just sick of me being so boring on these videos i mean i am boring I mean, I'm not boring. Most of the time I am talking, hopefully, about something useful, but I feel like sometimes I'll just be blabbing on, and then I'm like, who wants to watch that? I need a storyline. I need to be talking about something. So, let's talk about my high school experience. Oh my gosh, that'll be a fun one. Since we're getting to the end of things, you know... I feel it would be spectacular to talk about it. <laughs> Maybe my clickbait can be I got in a fight. Ever. Imagine embarrassing yourself. That could never be me. I get the reasons behind having a fight and like, you know what I mean? Shit gotta go down when it gotta go down, but when it's 8 a.m., on a Wednesday morning, I'm just feeling like things could be resolved differently. Um, I feel like the possibility is there. Um, especially about nothing. Okay, let's think about my high school experience. Freshman year. This will be exciting. Freshman year, I wasn't... <sighs> See, I was a loner freshman year. Well, um, I had friends, but I feel like I just never did anything. I was home all the time. Kind of. I don't know. This one's just cleaner than this one. I tried out for the cheer team my freshman year. Oh. Bada bing, bada boom. Sophomore year, I can't remember sophomore year. Junior year, I barely remember junior. How does that look? I literally look like a penguin, but I swear it's gonna get better. Um, so there's that. So now I'm gonna take my jewels. I think I'm gonna use these ones. I've just been reminiscing recently. I'm just gonna tell you about my past crushes. That's literally all the stories I have. I mean, I have stories about crushes, I think. I still can't, like, my memory is so bad. Like, I mean, I can remember things that matter to me, but like, whenever you talk about boys or you talk about people like getting getting me irritated those things don't go into a folder in my mind I can't remember those things they really aren't significant enough for my brain to even store I'm just gonna use my eyelash glue and just start gluing them This seemed easier going into it. 
Should I take the tape off first? Hello. That doesn't look too shabby. So these jewels are gonna be impossible, so I think I'm gonna do the jewels like and then speed it up on there and then I'm gonna come back. I'm not gonna be able to talk at all while I'm doing this because I'm gonna be so focused. There's literally no way. <laughs> absurd and my butt hurts so these gems took me like an hour and a half and I don't know if you can see it on the camera I don't even know if it looks decent like this one's wonky but I think this one is like okay if I like let me continue my TikTok. So now I'm just gonna put some lashes on. I was just watching Cody Co and no Noel. Tiny Meat Gang. I love their podcast so much. My eyes are starting to react to something. Or I have a headache. Ooh. I think I'm gonna do my Lulu Mimi Wink lashes. I have two more pairs in the mail, so these might be their last run. Probably be editing. So I've been editing this pamper routine for like two days. It should be up by now, to be honest with you. So if it's up, y'all better go watch that. That took so long to make. This always makes everything look better, right? I'm sorry, like, not only is it so late, I'm doing this hard freaking makeup look. I can't focus to save my life. This is so difficult. I think my lashes might have fixed it. I like this eye. This eye, I don't know. I don't play by the rules of the games. So Cody and Noel were talking about, I don't remember, it was the podcast about like COVID conspiracies and everything. And honestly, I don't really wanna talk about it cause it's just so annoying. Everything right now. Not just because we have to stay home, like. Just how they were talking about the possibility of like AI and all this and trackers and vaccines and it's like crazy. I don't think we're to that point yet. Is the possibility there? I definitely think the possibility is there. We're talking about AI and everything, but it's like, God forbid us white people have to be stuck at home. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not mad at this. I definitely like this eye better. Blowing it out, but look at that. Do you see it? Do you see the jewels? I'm ready to get this over with. <coughs> so I can look cute. I'm sick of this. I should probably wash my hands. Like, I got glue and black all over them. I hate messing with black eyeshadow. It's just so freaking messy. It's freaking annoying. 
Now I can relax and just talk about what I want to talk about. I'm sorry, like this has been one of the most stressful eyeshadow looks I've done in like my whole life, so. That took a lot of, out of me, that took a lot out of me. Really, I'm such a four year old talking about crushes, are you kidding me? I'm about to be 18. I'm like, crushes, I have a crush. Bitch, you're a woman, we don't have crushes. It's just been on my head recently because like, Bootsy, what was that meow? You know, everything, you know, school ended so quickly. It just makes me thinking like, life is too short. It almost has my scared ass texting my crush. I tell y'all, I am a, I'm a pussy. I'm a, I'm a pussy. I don't do that. So some guys or most all guys don't even approach a situation unless they feel that something, you know, they feel comfortable with the other party thinking the same. And I think the girls, girls think that too, you know, obviously. But, you know, we have this idea that, you know, guys are fine and they just go after a girl they want, easy peasy. Uh-uh. Guys are just as afraid as us, I'm gonna be real. Especially the guy that I like right now. I don't even know, like I've been trying to hold it off because it's like, honey, I'm about to be going to college. I don't want this, I don't wanna like this person. I really don't. So I kinda just want closure so I can freaking move on. <laughs> so my friends have been telling me to text him and I can't get myself to freaking do that. Cause we're not necessarily friends. Okay, so junior year, we had like every class together and then senior year happened and we never talk. If you're watching this, what the fuck? <laughs> but um, yeah, we never talked. Like literally all we would do is see each other in the hallway, have a panic attack and look away. Like we would just be chilling. Well, I'd always catch him like low key staring at me like on the way. I don't even know why I'm explaining this. Like this is embarrassing. I'm a bad bitch. I don't have crushes. <laughs> I, I always try to get myself back to that. But you know, I'm a child. I'm a, I'm a little girl and obviously I'm not crushes. There's A lunch and B lunch. I'm pretty sure he has A lunch. So he's in class. But when the bell rings in B lunch, you know, they're going to the next class with us, you know what I mean. So I see him when we leave for lunch and literally, I swear I always catch him staring or I like feel him staring at me and then I turn around and I see him and boom, we both break our necks and then turn around again. Like, are you kidding me? What the fuck is this, you know, right? I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? And he is the shyest guy I've ever met. And like, I know nothing about him. He doesn't like social media. Like, he's just so mysterious. And that makes me like him. Like, oh, you don't like this? You don't even like texting? I don't like texting, but like, it just makes me want to know something more about that person. I don't know, that's just me. Especially cause like I'm so on social media and like everyone knows everything about me that when I find someone who's like, you know, not engaged in the activity, I'm like, how you doing? My foundation around my nose always looks terrible cause I don't want to touch it. Off with these heads, these bitches with no bodies. I'm gonna need some new dick. Oh shit. Camera's about die. I don't like using a ring light either because it makes my face like it blows my face out and then I'm super white. But in real life, I don't look, I look like Flashback Mary right now. So like, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I'm afraid of getting rejected as well. I'm like, 
bitch, you're a bad bitch. You can't be going around getting rejected. Are you kidding me? But you know, rejection is life and I need to understand that. And then I'm also have a fear of regret. And I'm like, what if something was there and nothing happened? You know what I mean? So I just go around, die inside a little bit. Like, I don't know, he's just, he's so interesting. He's so, he's so fine. I don't wanna expose myself too much. I'm really gonna expose myself. But this is probably like 20 minutes into the video. Who at my school is gonna be watching this far into my videos? If you do, well, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. But, um, so tall. He's like, oh, you know what I realized? I need to make that TikTok. I'm gonna make it into a TikTok. When a guy's really tall, he can't see your double chin. Isn't that crazy? I just thought about that. Cause like, if he's up there and I'm all, like you can't see my double chin. Okay, now if we're at the same level, he can. But you, you know what I'm saying? I think that is a perfect thievery. Ugh, I hated that. Little pussy, you stick it like a toothpick. Yeah, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, do I text him? No, ladies, do I text him? Cause I'm thinking no. What am I doing? I mean, it's the truth. I have be like no experience with guys. Literally, it's because I live in this piss poor state. Colorado. You know what girls look like here in Colorado? Not me. <laughs> Skinny little Lawrence. Their name is Lauren. You know, Hydro Flasks is their culture. It's like every single guy, and I'm not in high school no more. I am so excited about that. I mean, I am. I still, I, I consider myself not in high school anymore. Even, it's not over yet, but I'm like, bitch, it's over. But in high school, I mean, I feel like it's the same in every state. Like, guys will literally only like what is, like, the preference of everyone else. So, and if there's a guy that literally likes what they like and will go against, you know, what their friends think or what anybody else thinks, that's a rarity. Is that a word? I feel like that's very rare to see. Um, just like, I'm not your basic girl or anything. Like, I'm not gonna, I don't know, I'm like, but you know, I believe someone out there is for me. Whether that be in a year, five years or 10 years, figure it out together. Yeah. Locked up in this house really got me thinking about going against my regular moral standpoints and just taking the risk. But still, bitch, that's hard. Um, I like to stay comfortable with where I'm at. You know, whether that be with my friends and not with, you know, any new relationships or whatever. And I need to take the risk because if you don't take it now, when will you? You know? I don't know. I don't think it's the fear of texting someone or like trying to talk to someone. I think my fear is in more um the fear of them like texting me back like two words and then i'm like i mean at least at that point i would know you know but i mean some people are just bad texters so this is like really hard i don't know i really don't know i also just think because i am i'm not trying to be like oh my god i'm a social media influencer um, I'm unreachable, I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, if there was a guy at my school and he had a YouTube channel with 100, 
100,000 subscribers, I would not go up to him saying I'm liking him. But be real. Hear that. Play it to your situation. If Tyler over there in your third hour has a YouTube channel, would you be exposing yourself? I'm not saying that people on a YouTube channel are like of high, higher level. We're higher level. But it's truthfully, it's, I don't know, it's more like intimidation. And there's nothing intimida intimidating about me, honey. But I guess when I'm walking down the hallway, maybe it is. Like if someone's smiling at me, I think I'm smiling back, but I'm actually doing this. Like that, that wasn't friendly at all. That wasn't friendly at all, Mackenzie. So I'm definitely gonna challenge myself especially going into college new people you can reinvent yourself you know what i'm saying i'm not going to turn into a new bitch or anything but where is my freaking i hate my life uh why is this so hard right now i can't find anything so I just ran out of storage on my camera and I am not with shit right now. I'm not in the mood to have to be fucking with that. And I have another SD card downstairs, but do I want to get that? No. I'm not in the mood. I just tried like straight brows low key. Someone said I should try it and I think they could be straighter, but I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I normally don't put as much like product under and i think that thicker brow looks better on me i'm definitely gonna start doing that more now i don't know what i'm gonna wear i'm literally about to put on like a full-blown outfit at three in the morning and am i mad about it absolutely not saying about the man that's not my man's sometimes you just have a gut feeling and my gut it's telling me, but my brain is saying something completely different. I can't fucking see. Now I'm gonna take my physician's, physician, physician, physician's, physician, physician's formula. That took me a while there, um, but I've grown to love this product. My my face is looking a bit uh cakey at the moment. It's a brush challenge with some girls and we're supposed to like turn it in. It's not an assignment. <laughs> we're supposed to send it into the group chat like today or tomorrow. So that's why I'm doing this too. Just so that I can get this over with because I have stuff to do tomorrow. Let me know if y'all shot your shot with anybody on this quarantine. I'm getting no powder out of here. But like literally, I'm not even going to see this person probably ever again. Aw, that made me sad. I remember we had class, we had like five classes together. And... You know when you just like click with someone like your humor is just like right there and like you know i remember this one tiktok it's like <laughs> when he actually when he makes you actually laugh <laughs> that was so funny like he actually made me like stomach laugh laugh i always feel like when i do black on my eyes it ends up looking Terrible. Like under my eyes. Body. You ain't fuck Nikki, you fuck Nicole body. A Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj remix. They did what they had to do. They did. They came, they went. That was astonishing. All it took was a pandemic for Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat to collab. And you know, I'm not mad at it, you know? You got Doja Cat. And Nicki Minaj, you got, you got Beyonce and Megan. I can't take this anymore. I'm gonna be frank. My wig is gone. Sorry guys, I had to go do my little TikTok. I'm freaking talking about.
Like I literally just had to put more concealer under my eyes because whenever I put black on my waterline, that shit get everywhere. It don't matter what it is. It gets everywhere. Like I'm about to wear. Should I go edgy dainty? Edgy edgy. That's the real question. <laughs> So, I also just got some more little hoop earrings off of Amazon. Um, so small. <laughs> These look like nose piercings. I mean, okay, I'm down, I guess, but I did not expect that. I mean, they might look cute in my ears though. Like small little hoops. I think these are nose piercings. I am not even lying. <laughs> I look. I look like Jersey Shore, bitch. I guess I thought they were gonna be like this big, girl. So much for earlobe inclusivity. Come up with the head, these bitches, nobody's. Oh, why did I think that was gonna be okay? I just sprayed myself with water. Not my smartest choice, that was not smart at all. I think I just messed up my makeup. Against the water bottle, you see that? Water bottle. And I needed to wet my brush. So what did I think? <laughs> I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. Why did I think that would end well? A whole nozzle facing me. This highlight is wet and wild something or other. Wet and wild uh, mega glow. EOG. A little blood trying to stick me like a toothpick. I'm just ready to do this projector video. I better look cute in this outfit. I'm gonna be pissed. How are we looking, fam? I need a nude lip liner. Cause I don't have one. Cause I think that'd be perfect. Cause I don't like doing lipstick. Now, if I did like a nude lip liner with lip gloss, it'd be perfect. Red lipstick? Uh-uh, I know I'm not making this harder. Too fucking late. I'm doing it. Suck my dick in my face. <laughs> I'm too tired to care. What in the, what the heck I'm gonna do with this hair? I really have no clue. Honey, look at this hat. What did that girl just say, girl? I don't dance, I work, work. I don't dance, I slay, slay. Slut and sachet. And now we're done, guys. I'm gonna do, I don't freaking know. And I'll show you how much better this looks. And if I'm disappointed. See, the ring light makes me look like a lunatic. Really? Oh my gosh, look at Bootsy. I got this bed for Bootsy and I was like, Bootsy, they're gonna lay in it. Bootsy, laying in it. I love you, Bootsy. So here's the result. How are we feeling about it? I don't know how I'm feeling about it. So I just put on some jeans. I haven't worn jeans in like three weeks. I think this is cute. <laughs> So I'm gonna just end it here because I don't wanna talk anymore because it is almost four in the morning. Please hit that like button, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know what this was, but yeah, peace out. Oh.